Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring. More on them at the end of the video. Join me for some dressing, breathwork, cooking, and tending in today's video, where we are thoroughly enjoying life at home. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. My name is Jennifer, and I'm the author of the Madame Chic series and Connoisseur Kids. I am passionate about living well at home. Join me here for a few days in my life. I hope you find inspiration to live well at home, too. I'd like to start off by sharing an easy recipe for chia seed pudding. I recently shared this in my newsletter. In the evening, I mix two tablespoons of organic chia seeds in a dessert cup with one half cup of unsweetened organic nut milk. In this case, I'm using almond milk. Then I add a dash of maple syrup and some vanilla extract. I then mix it together and cover it up and I place it in the refrigerator overnight. The next morning, I add my toppings. This time, I added almond butter, blueberries, strawberries, and pumpkin seeds. But you can top this with whatever you like. It makes a delicious breakfast or a healthy dessert. Chia seeds are highly nutritious, packed with fiber, protein, omega-3 fatty acids, and various micronutrients. The key is remembering to make it the night before. There have been so many days where I've wanted chia seed pudding, but I didn't make it the night before. So try to plan ahead with this one. I wanted to show you my orchid watering routine. Because I have so many orchids, I place them all in the shower so the water can easily drain from their pots. I'll water the orchids and then spray the leaves with orchid spray. Most of the orchid blooms you see here are from orchids that have come back after being dormant for several months. This method really works. Another tip is to bring the orchids in the shower with you. <laughs> I know that sounds a little strange, but they love the heat and the moisture. Just make sure the water isn't directly pounding on the orchids because they are delicate. I love them. They are so precious to me. Speaking of flowers, I've captured some beautiful blooms from my parents' garden that I wanted to share with you. I take so much pleasure from flowers. I love studying them and appreciating their individual essence. I believe that just looking at flowers has a healing effect on my soul. I feel calm and appreciative when I take time to adore them. Do you feel this way too? I find the more I think about them, the more they show up in my life. These are my rose-fueled adventures. I've been swimming a few times a week as part of varying my exercise routine. 
I love swimming, but as most ladies can attest, <laughs> I need to plan it on a day when I'm having a bad hair day and I don't mind jumping in the pool. Can you relate to that? Just keeping it real. <laughs> I feel so free when I'm swimming. The boys even convinced me to go down the slide in a raft. Am I too old for this? No, I don't think so. Not yet. Let me share my outfit with you. I'm wearing the Amalfi striped blouse from Lily Silk with the Everlane way high jeans. Zoe Love earrings, and the Goryana Rose Quartz bracelet. I'm introducing a pop of red with the Vivaya square toe flats and clip-on bow. These are so Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. I do feel slightly magical when I wear them. This whole outfit, in fact, is whimsical casual, so it's perfect for me. I have fun in it. I'm going to make an easy penne a la vodka pasta now, although I am actually using rotini instead of penne. I wanted to try out a chickpea pasta because my friend Dr. Mindy said that she likes to eat it. Did you see my interview with Dr. Mindy? I'll leave it in the iCard up above. So I'm boiling the water in my La Crusade cook's oven, and then I add the chickpea pasta in. I got this at Costco, and the brand is Banza, I believe. I looked up the merits of chickpea pasta, and apparently it has 50% more protein, three times the fiber, and 25% fewer net carbs than traditional pasta. To make my life easier, as I like to cook less in the summer, I'm using the Primal Kitchen vodka sauce made with avocado oil. I know the sauce is dairy-free, but I added some heavy cream <laughs> to stretch the sauce a little bit more. Then I topped it with Parmesan cheese and some parsley sprigs from our garden. It needed a bit of salt too, but it was delicious. I love the chickpea pasta. The girls and I really enjoyed this one. Thanks to my friend Dr. Chloe, who wrote Nervous Energy, Harness the Power of Your Anxiety, I have been incorporating breathwork into my everyday practice. I have noticed that this has transformed my overall breathing, and I'm catching myself engaged in shallow, stressed breathing less and less. It's amazing. I used to think that things like this were a bit of a waste of time, that I could be doing something productive. So I've been slowly reconditioning my mind to know that spending my time this way is valuable. It's a valuable use of my time, and it is indeed productive. After all, as the Hatter says in Alice in Wonderland, if you knew time as well as I do, you wouldn't talk about wasting it. I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Talk about spending your time wisely. Skillshare is an online learning community with literally thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries. 
people who come together to find inspiration and take the next step in their creative journey. I use many of the Skillshare classes to not only boost my knowledge in my career field, but also support my self-care journey. This time, I have lofty endeavors. I'm trying to improve my handwriting, and I'm taking this class called Transform Your Handwriting with Beauty, an easy-to-read cursive, taught by Robert J.P. Oberg. I have so much fun doing these classes. They are seriously such a nice break for me, and I can already tell the improvement in my handwriting. The first 1,000 people to use my link will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching as always. I appreciate you. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you very soon. Love, Jennifer.